Pain in the sacroiliac ligaments is often caused by some sort of imbalance in the position of the pelvis, when one hip ends up higher than the other, further forward than the other, or torqued in any other way. This is usually a result of imbalanced muscular development in the hips. With this yoga practice, you can begin to restore balance to the flexion-extension relationship in your hips, strengthen your abductors, and tone the other muscles that support the sacrum. This practice is not appropriate for the acute sacrum issues, but more for the ongoing, nagging type of discomfort. I'm Olga Cable, yoga teacher and yoga therapist. Let's begin! We will begin the practice by transitioning down onto your hands and knees. You can put some extra padding under your knees if you need to. And stay here for a moment. Close your eyes. Little by little start to deepen your inhalation and lengthen your exhalation. And as you breathe here, take a moment to notice your weight distribution. If you tend to lean to one knee, or the other, if you're putting more weight on one wrist than the other. And then with that awareness, next time when you inhale, lift the chest forward and up, away from the navel, and with the exhalation around your back, pulling your belly button in toward the spine. And we'll do that again. As you breathe in, lift the chest forward and up, arching your back, stretching through the front of the body. And with the exhalation, pull the belly button in, rounding your spine. Do that two more times on your own, breathing deeply. And whenever you finish with your current repetition, return into the neutral spine position. Shift the weight of the body to your left knee slightly. And then next time when you exhale, pull your right knee toward your chest and tuck the chin in, rounding your back. With the next inhalation, extend your right leg back and lift the chest forward and up. Don't exaggerate the lift. Then with the exhalation, pull your right knee in toward your chest again, rounding your back, tucking the chin in. And continue with that two more, two more times. Inhale, extend the leg back. Lift the chest and exhale, curl the leg in, rounding your back. One more time, following the rhythm of your breath. And then whenever you finish, place your knee down on the ground. And we'll, we'll shift our attention to the other side. Same idea, next time when you exhale, pull your left knee toward your chest, tuck the chin and round your back. And as you inhale, extend your leg back, lifting the chest forward and up. Please don't rush the movement. Continue to move with your breath, pulling the belly button in towards your spine as you exhale. And notice if this side feels any different than the other one did. Whenever you finish with your current repetition, place the knee back down. And then ever so slightly shift the weight of the body towards your right hand and your right knee. And then towards your left hand and your left knee. It's a very subtle movement. Do it back and forth a couple more times. Notice how it feels in the area of your sacrum. And then find the place that feels balanced between the right and left. And then with the next inhalation, lift the chest forward and up away from the navel. As you exhale, slowly bring your elbows down, but for now keep your butt up in the air. Relax the neck. With the inhalation, lift back up onto your hands and knees, lifting the chest. And next time as you exhale, let's move a little bit further. So bring the elbows down and start moving your butt down toward the heels, but don't go too far yet. On the inhale again, come up onto your hands and knees, lift the chest forward and up. 
And then with the next exhalation, bring your elbows down and move your butt down as far as you can without strain, without discomfort toward the heels. And again on the inhale, lift up onto your hands and knees. Lift the chest forward and up, wide chest. And exhale back down into the child's pose, elbows first. With the next inhalation, come on up onto your hands and knees. And then transition down onto your stomach. We will begin with the feet together and squeeze together. Place your forearms on the ground to make sure that the shoulders are not tense. And place your forehead on the floor. Next time when you inhale, lengthen the spine. Lift your upper body up, squeezing your legs together, keeping them on the floor. And as you exhale, come down right ear to the ground. Let's do that again. Lengthen, squeeze the legs and lift your upper body up, pulling slightly back with your hands. And as you exhale, come down, left ear to the ground. Now let's move the feet a little bit wider, about hip distance or so. Do your best to keep your pelvis anchored on both sides. Next time when you inhale, lift your upper body up, pulling slightly back with your hands. Feet stay anchored. And exhale, come down, right ear to the ground. And again, inhale, lengthen, lift, pulling slightly back with your hands, no pushing. And exhale, come down, left ear to the ground. Now let's move the feet a little bit wider apart, wider than the mat. And again, try to keep your pelvis anchored on both sides. And then the next time when you inhale, lift your upper body up, pulling slightly back with your hands. And with the exhalation, bring your right ear to the ground. Again, full day breath, lifting your upper body up. And as you exhale, bring your left ear to the ground. And next time, we'll stay in the pose. So as you inhale, slowly lift your upper body up. Stay here and exhale. Anchor through both sides of your pelvis and keep your feet pressed down into the ground. And full deep breath, pulling your chest slightly forward, keeping it wide. And exhale again, anchor through both sides of the pelvis, both feet. Take two more breaths like that. Full deep breath in, widening the chest. And exhale, anchoring through the lower body. And again, nice deep breath here. And with the next exhalation, come down. Move your feet a little closer together. Come on up onto your hands and knees. And with the next exhalation, bring your elbows down and move your butt down toward the heels, if it feels appropriate to you. Place your hands on the lower back. With the next inhalation, lift up on the knees, sweeping your arms out and up, reach up high. And with the exhalation, turn to your right, bringing your arms out to the sides and looking back. On the inhale, come back to the center, raising your arms up. And with the exhalation, turn to your left, bringing your arms out to the sides. Look behind you. Inhale, bring your arms back up, returning to the center. And with the exhalation, gradually contract your abdomen, bringing your chest towards your thighs and your hands to the lower back. And we'll repeat that on the inhale. Lift up on your knees, sweeping your arms out and up. Long spine. As you exhale, turn to your right, arms out to the sides. Inhale, turn back to the center, arms up. Exhale, turn to your left, arms out, looking back. Inhale, back to the center. And exhale, gradually contract your abdomen as you move the chest down toward your thighs, hands to your lower back, but butt toward the heels. Do the cycle one more time on your own, making sure that you're following the rhythm of your breath. Once you finish with the movement, with the next inhalation, lift back up on your knees, sweeping your arms up. As you exhale, bring your arms down and step your right foot forward. We'll be doing some lunges here. If you need some extra padding under your back knee, please put the blanket or towel under there or double up your mat if you need to. So let's make sure that the front foot is slightly in front of the knee. Hips are facing forward. Place your right hand on your right knee. And then next time when you inhale, 
Bend your front knee, raising your left arm forward and up. Lengthen, and with the exhalation, return into the starting position, lowering your arm. And let's do that again. On the inhale, bend your front knee more, raising your left arm. Stretch through the left side of the body. And as you exhale, press down with your right foot and return into the starting position. And do that again. Inhale, move into the lunge, raising the arm up. Exhale, contract your abdomen and come out. Next time we'll stay in the pose. So with the inhalation, move into the lunge, raise your arm up, stay here. As you exhale, gradually contract your abdomen and tuck the tailbone under just a bit. From here on the inhale, lift the chest forward and up. Make sure that the upper body stays slightly in front of the hips. Exhale again, pull your abdomen in, pressing your front foot firmly into the ground. With the inhalation, lengthen through the left side of the body, lifting the chest away from the navel. Maintain this length. With the exhalation, re-engage the abdomen. Continue to breathe like that and make sure that you're not sagging into your front hip. Keep your front leg active. Keep pressing the foot into the ground. And with the next exhalation, come out. Place your right knee down on the floor. So you're standing on both knees. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a breath or two here, paying attention to how everything feels. And then step your left foot forward when you're ready. Again, make sure that the foot is slightly in front of the knee. Rest your left hand on your front knee. Next time when you inhale, bend your left knee, raising your right arm forward and up. And with the exhalation, contract your abdomen and come into return into the starting position. Let's do that again on the inhale. Move into the lunge, bending your knee and raising your right arm up. Stretch through the right side of the body. As you exhale, contract the abdomen, lower the arm, move out of the pose. Again, inhale, go into it. Lengthen through the right side. Hips are facing forward. And exhale, come out. Next time, we'll stay in the pose. So with the inhalation, bend your front knee, raise your arm. Stay here with the exhalation, contract your abdomen, pull it in. With the inhalation, lengthen your spine, lift the chest away from the navel, upper body slightly in front of the hips. Continue to breathe like that, progressive abdominal contraction with every exhalation. On the inhale, lengthening, lifting the chest away from the navel. And as always, make sure that the front leg stays engaged. Keep pressing the foot into the floor. With the next exhalation, move out of the pose. Place your knee down so both knees are on the floor. Close your eyes, take a breath or two here. And then place your hands down on the ground and transition onto your back. Once you're there, go ahead and bend your knees and hug your knees toward your chest. Place your hands under your knees, please. And then from this position, next time when you inhale, slowly extend your legs up toward the ceiling, stretching up through the heels. Don't force anything. And then with the next exhalation, bend the knees toward your chest again. And again with the inhalation, extend your legs up. And as you exhale, bend your knees, hugging your thighs toward your chest. Do that a few more times. Inhale, extend the legs best you can. Don't strain anything. And exhale, bend the knees. And once again, extend your legs up. And then bend the knees. Now once you bend your knees, go ahead and roll onto your right side. So you are on your right side completely. You can prop your head up with your um, arm or put the pillow under it, whatever makes you feel comfortable. So make sure that the knees are bent and we want your thighs to be at about 90 degree angle to your torso. Knees and feet are stacked. And bring your attention to your pelvis, please. 
So for now, we want to make sure that your hips are stacked on top of each other, and we will want to maintain that throughout the movement. This is really important. So next time when you inhale, slowly lift your top knee up while still keeping the feet on top of each other. So as if you're opening up like a clamshell. And with the next exhalation, slowly lower your knee down without touching the bottom knee. And do that again on the inhale, slowly lift the knee up, making sure that your hips stay stacked on top of each other. Do not let your top hip drip or drop backwards. And continue to move like that up and down. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And pay attention to where you feel this movement in your body. Make sure that you do not tense the bottom hip. And the next time when you lift your top knee up, keep it up. Stay here and breathe deeply. Every time you exhale, contract your abdomen and make sure that your hips still remain stacked on top of each other. And once you had enough, bring your knee down. From here, slide your left knee over the right one. Bring it, bring it down to the ground if it works for you. And then place your right hand on top of your left knee. From here, take a deep breath. And as you exhale, see if you can slightly turn your upper body to your left. We'll move into a gentle twist here. Don't force anything. And let's continue like that. Every time you exhale, continue to move your upper body a little further to your left while keeping your knees where they are with the left knee over the right one. You can even hook your left leg underneath your right one if you like. And continue to breathe here. Deepen the twist with your breath with every exhalation. But don't pull down with the left shoulder. It's more about moving a ribcage. And when you had enough of that, roll onto your right side again. And from here, transition onto your back. Take a breath or two here. And then from here, place your left knee over your right one. So the knees are stacked on top of each other. Hug both knees toward your chest. And align your left knee so that it's about um, close to the midline of the body. And then use your left hand to pull your left knee toward yourself. Gently, and place your right hand on your left ankle and pull the ankle in towards yourself as well. And continue to breathe like that. So we want the inside of your left knee to be moving toward the body. Full deep breaths. Once you get enough, free up your legs, place your hands on your knees, and circle the knees away from each other a few times. Compare the sensations in the left hip that we've been working with and the right hip that we haven't touched on yet. And then whenever you feel ready, roll onto your left side now. Once again, support your head any way you want. Stack your knees on top of each other. Keep about 90 degree angle between your thighs and your torso. Stack the feet on top of each other. 
And the next time when you inhale, lift your top knee up. And with the exhalation, bring it down. Barely touching the bottom knee. And continue like that on the inhale. Open like a clamshell without changing the position of your pelvis. And as you exhale, bring the knee down. Continue like that, following the rhythm of your breath. And then next time when you bring the knee up, keep it up. Make sure that you do not lean your body back. You don't lean your pelvis back. Just focus on holding your leg up like that. And with every exhalation, contract your abdomen to create support for the pose. And then bring your knee down. Slide it over your left leg. Again, you can tuck your right foot under your left leg if you like. Take a deep breath here. And then with the next exhalation, start turning your upper body to your right. Going into the twist. Don't force anything. Turn your head to your right as well. And every time you exhale, contract your abdomen and move your ribcage a little further to your right, ever so slightly. You can rest your right hand on your right hip to avoid straining your shoulder. Just focus on the sensations. What do you feel in your back, in your hip, in your sacrum? Don't force anything. Whenever you had enough, roll onto your left side again, come out of the pose, transitioning onto your back, put both feet on the ground, take a breath or two here, Place your right knee over your left one. Stack the knees on top of each other. And pull your right knee toward yourself, toward the midline of the body. Place your right hand on your right knee and your left hand on your right ankle. And continue to breathe here. Folding your right leg over your body so that the inside of your right knee moves toward you. Full deep breathing, paying attention to how it feels in your hip, in your back, in your leg. Whenever you had enough of that, free up your legs. Once again, place your hands on your knees and circle them away from each other a few times. Then hug the knees to the chest. And then from here, roll into your stomach. Put your forehead down on the ground. Place your feet together for now and make sure that your hips are anchored on both sides. 
Next time when you inhale, lift your chest and both legs, moving your feet as wide apart as you can. And with the exhalation, come down, bringing your feet together and down. And let's do that again. On the inhale, lift the chest and both legs, moving your feet apart, out wide. And with the exhalation, bring your feet together and move down. Inhale, go back up like that. And exhale, come down. Now next time when you inhale, lift back up, bringing your feet wide apart. Stay up, and as you exhale, slowly bring your feet together, trying to keep them at the same level in relation to the ground. On the inhale, move your feet apart, and as you exhale, come down, feet together. And we'll do that again. On the inhale, lift up, raising your legs and your chest, move your legs wide apart. As you exhale, slowly bring your feet together, Stay up. On the inhale, bring your feet wide apart again. And as you exhale, come down, feet together. And now let's see if we can do that for three breaths at the top. So on the inhale, lift up, bringing your feet wide apart. Stay up. As you exhale, bring your feet together. Inhale, move them apart. Again, exhale, bring them together. Stay anchored through your pelvis. Inhale apart. One more time, bring them together as you exhale. And inhale, move them apart. And with the exhalation, come down, feet together. And rest here for a moment. You can move your feet a little bit wider and just notice how things feel. Your hips, your sacrum, your back. And then whatever you feel ready, roll onto your back. Bend your knees and hug your knees to the chest. Place your hands on your knees. With the inhalation, move your thighs away from you. And as you exhale, hug the thighs towards yourself. And do that a few times, back and forth. Inhale, moving your legs away. And exhale, hugging them in towards your body. When you finish with that, place your feet down on the ground. Keep your feet about hip distance apart or so. We're going to do the bridge pose here. Press your feet firmly into the ground. And next time when you inhale, slowly roll your hips up, lengthen through the back of the neck, and with the exhalation, slowly roll down. And we'll continue like that. With the inhalation, roll up, peeling yourself off the ground. Make sure that your knees don't splay in or out. And exhale, roll down. And again, inhale, roll up, trying to keep the weight even between your feet. And exhale, roll down. And do that one more time. Up and down, following the rhythm of your breath. Once you finish with that, hug your knees to the chest again. You can do a couple of circles if you like. And then put your feet on the ground. Move them a little bit wider than hip distance apart. And then lean the knees toward each other. If this is a comfortable position, we'll rest here. If this is uncomfortable, then find a comfortable position that works for you. Close your eyes. Breathe deep.
As you continue to breathe here, every time you exhale, do your best to relax your thighs, your hips, your buttocks, your back, your lower body. Keep your breathing nice and steady. And continue to focus on relaxing your lower body as we stay here. Take a couple more nice deep breaths. And little by little, gradually transition up into the comfortable seated position of your choice. Get settled here. Close your eyes. Bring your attention to your hips. And for the next few breaths, spend some time paying attention to how your hips are feeling, front sides and back, how your lower back feels, your lower back and the sacrum. And as you continue to breathe, stay with that awareness. Rest your attention there, near your pelvis. Next time when you inhale, sweep your arms out and up, reach up high. With the exhalation, bring your palms down together in front of the chest. And this completes our practice for today. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.